I mean, there have been hundreds, actually thousands of residents um, through local community groups and water groups uh, and resident groups who have got in touch with concern. There's, there's people who do wild water swimming in the Thames there, as yep. you say, paddle boarding, kayaking, rowing, yep. and so on, um, as, as well as families who just use uh, the, the river recreationally. It's the heart of our community, the River Thames. Uh, and I, I think the key point for me, Nick, is that although this has been put forward as part of this sort of drought mitigation initiatives in the future, actually the amount of water it's going to save pales into insignificance when you compare it to the hundreds of millions of litres of water that Thames Water yes. loses in leaks every single day, and yes. they have not invested in the infrastructure to uh, resolve those leaks. And this, uh, this recycling scheme is only going to replace a tiny fraction of that. Lastly on this, is it a done deal? Uh, well, residents would hope not, although the Thames Water's consultation response just last week on this suggests that they have ignored the many thousands of uh, objections that have been put in by local residents on this particular issue. Um, so uh, we will continue to campaign. Um, the local residents will not take this lying down, nor will I. And I have a debate in Parliament tomorrow because the Water Minister has refused to respond to, to meet with me and my uh, neighbouring colleague Sarah Olney MP, despite repeated requests. So I've now... Uh, dragging her to the floor of the uh, house on, in Westminster Hall tomorrow to challenge her and ask uh, her opinion because the Secretary of State, the Environment, will ultimately have sign-off on these proposals.